Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching. All you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. Despite being sued, why is Ripple hiring engineers? Is this an indication that Ripples will triumph in the end? By the way, why is Japan using XRP more than the US? Also, we'll examine Attorney Dean's assertion that the SEC acts in accordance with its objectives of gaining more control over the burgeoning market rather than out of a sense of duty to the law. Lastly, a rather unsettling development recently regarding XRP in the cryptocurrency market has come to light. Continue watching the video with me to find out more. Check out this new video as soon as possible if this sounds like something that would be of interest to you. In the midst of significant industry-wide cutbacks, Ripple keeps hiring, this time concentrating on engineers. We're searching for skilled engineers to help us create the future. Today, Ripple urged the public to look at its available engineering positions in a tweet. According to its careers page, the company has at least 77 unfilled positions, 34 of which are in the engineering department. The organization is looking to fill a number of positions across numerous regions in the US, the UK, and Canada. The company, however, says that applicants don't need to have prior blockchain experience, claiming that it can provide the proper guidance and support for those applicants to learn on the job. Ripple's request for applicants comes as competitors in the sector continue to reduce expenses, with CoinGecko Research reporting around 2,800 employment layoffs in January. It is the second highest industry monthly total ever after the almost 3,000 jobs lost in June as a result of the collapse of the terrorist ecosystem. Notably, cryptocurrency exchanges accounted for 84% of the total January tapping, with decreased trading volumes and revenues serving as the catalyst. The Ripple cryptocurrency has previously defied the bear market trend. The corporation expressed interest in filling roughly 150 unfilled positions, as was reported in October. All of these occur in spite of the US's heightened regulatory uncertainties and its protracted legal dispute with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. Naturally, the crypto community, especially the XRP community, has enthusiastically embraced today's statement. This is so because it demonstrates the strength of a company's balance sheet and corporate strategy when it can continue to grow and hire employees despite challenging market conditions. Remember how 95% of the company's employees said it was a terrific place to work when Ripple was named one of Fortune's 100 best medium places to work? It was also recently named the fourth best place to work for parents. According to a BitMEX study from June 2020, which indicated that it was comparable to Bitcoin in popularity and that Ethereum came in a distant third, XRP continues to enjoy a strong following in Japan and is commonly regarded as the second most popular cryptocurrency in the country. A recent City University of Hong Kong study claims that the asset is more popular in Japan than in the United States, and it is making the rounds on Twitter in an attempt to shed light on why this is the case. The study links Ripple's collaboration with SBI Holdings to XRP's success in Japan. Both companies jointly own and operate SBI Ripple Asia, with SBI Holdings CEO Yoshitaka Cattle previously serving on the board of Ripple's. According to a university publication, the most respected venture capital firm in Japan is SBI. The document cites a 2021 WorldCoin statistics report that explains how Japanese people value institutions more than Westerners do. As a result, the relationship between SBI and Ripple provides XRP with unparalleled legitimacy in the country. Significantly, both businesses continue to have strong ties. Notably, Ripple's protracted legal battle with the US Securities and Exchange Commission hasn't boosted its standing among Americans. Recall that in December 2020, the market's regulator complained about the blockchain payments company, claiming that XRP is an unregistered security. The lawsuit has been pending for more than two years, and both sides have filed all necessary briefs. However, there are still no established rules for the sector in the US, in contrast to Japan, which has open crypto legislation and anti-money laundering crypto regulations. As he continues his campaign of regulation by enforcement, 
SEC Chair Gary Gensler maintains that traditional security laws are sufficient. However, his most recent actions have cast doubt on the viability of staking services and the creation of stable coins and have shrouded the market in uncertainty. Japan, meanwhile, has performed better due to its effective regulatory environment. Other than the US, it has been stated that Japanese users' assets are safe and will be repaid via the SR crypto market. Now, we'd like to introduce you to Private Global, a cryptocurrency trading website that aims to provide nothing but the best. Also, we should mention that they host trading competition events. Now, there are six competitions going on, but more will be added soon. Roving Network with a $100,000 prize pool that is about to expire. It is anticipated that a competition for methane with a prize pool of up to 20 million Matano will expire in four days. With a $130,000 prize pool, this tournament should be over in four days. Cleave a procedure with a potential prize fund of 70,000 cleavers. Probiotics with a $20,000 probiotic prize pool A large reward pool of $2,000 was provided by a private token. Keep checking back because the Esports Players League Arena, which has a prize pool of $223,500, has already begun and will soon begin. A minimum of 100 points must be scored in order to be qualified to compete in this tournament, and that number is one of the prerequisites. Throughout the contest, the stake prop cannot be diminished. Keep in mind that staking and prop can earn you significantly lower transaction costs depending on your membership status, which is defined by the amount you block. Stake, you're glad to start reaping the rewards because the highest proposition stakes obtain the lowest transaction fees. You can register on Private Global, one of the safest cryptocurrency platforms, by clicking the link we've provided in the description. A recent reiteration of Judge Sarah Nett Burns' critique of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and its case against Ripple was made by attorney John E. Deaton. This was stated in a tweet sent out today by the attorney who is the friend of the court for over 75,000 XRP holders in the lawsuit and who cited comments made by the magistrate in July of last year. A recent Bloomberg opinion piece prompted the SEC's interest in crypto custody. According to prominent Bloomberg columnist Matt Levine in the report, the SEC has been able to change the narrative surrounding the cryptocurrency market. According to Levine, regulators in the traditional finance sector set basic public regulations to cover all situations, but clever, more highly compensated business lawyers locate and exploit loopholes. Levine points out that the cryptocurrency business, meanwhile, seems to be experiencing the opposite at the moment. The column has noted that the SEC is using legal loopholes to steadily broaden its regulatory authority in the emerging market, with industry players continually lagging behind only in exceptional circumstances. The SEC has informed centralized staking service providers of its legal action against cracking, according to Levine's article. Remember that Judge Newburn claimed in July that the SEC was not functioning in accordance with the law but rather to further its own interests noting its changing position on the contentious person and documents. Importantly, the organization initially contended that William Hinman's contentious 2018 speech, in which he proclaimed Bitcoin and Ethereum to be non-securities, only expressed his personal opinions and not those of the market regulator. When the judge asked the SEC to turn over emails and other documents relevant to the speech's composition, the SEC objected, claiming that since Hinman had contacted SEC lawyers, the papers were protected by the attorney-client privilege. Hinman was the director of the SEC Division of Corporate Finance at the time, for context's sake. Interestingly, the SEC's complaint against Ripple has caught many by surprise, given that Hinman had claimed just two years earlier that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other suitably decentralized networks did not constitute securities in what is regarded as the SEC's sole guideline to the emerging markets. As a result, Many individuals involved in the cryptocurrency business and market watchers are interested in learning what is written in the contentious documents. As noted in a recent article by Dr. Rosalind Layton, a policy researcher and Forbes contributor who recently filed a motion for the court to unseal the document, they may be able to determine whether Ethereum interests influenced him and his speech or if regulators are perplexed, which may explain industry participants' confusion. Interestingly, 
the market regulator favors the document's secrecy, claiming that making them available for public review may compromise the transparency of subsequent policy deliberation procedures. Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, has maintained that neither new regulations nor traditional securities laws should be applied to cryptocurrencies. The agency has persisted in going beyond the bounds of the law to bring various enforcement cases against business stakeholders. So, despite claims to the contrary made by Gensler, the U.S. market is still clouded in ambiguity with no obvious path to compliance. Unusual developments in the cryptocurrency market, down to XRP on a weekly chart. XRP is the 12th consecutive losing candle against the rest of the crypto market. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be the first to learn more about the current developments. The change denotes the asset bearish condition brought on by Ripple's protracted legal dispute with the SEC. A supporter of XRP and anonymous cryptocurrency trader named Mr. Huber recently brought attention to the negative pattern. Huber brought attention to the issue in a TradingView weekly chart that compares XRP's performance to that of the rest of the cryptocurrency market. The chart shows that XRP is currently in a downturn following its stunning success against the rest of the market in late 2021, just over a year into the SEC litigation. Moreover, XRP's losing run, which began in the second week of December 2022, demonstrates the propensity for a breakout to the downside despite its struggles to maintain a symmetrical triangle. A symmetrical triangle is a pattern in which the price of an asset oscillates between two trend lines that are converging. Bullish movement is indicated by a break above the upper trend line, while bearish movement is indicated by a break below the lower trend line. It's important to note that XRP managed to bounce back after suffering 12 consecutive weeks of losses in March 2015, outperforming the rest of the markets by a wide margin in the second half of the year. But this time around, industry participants are taking into account other external concerns. Although attitudes are currently shifting toward bullish areas, several supporters think that the SEC case's trajectory will significantly influence how the assets move moving forward. As the court case nears its conclusion, the XRP side is still confident that it will receive a favorable verdict. Notably, lawyer John Deaton recently declared that the SEC will only succeed if it can demonstrate that Ripple offered XRP from 2013 to 2017 as an unregistered security. Deaton, however, had previously claimed that the token is not necessarily a security, even if Ripple has ever sold XRP as a security. As it attempts to print a second straight profitable session today on the daily timescale, XRP is still competing against the dollar in the meantime. We are now at the conclusion of this video. Please make sure to like the video, guys, if you liked it. Don't forget to hit the notification button and subscribe. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Sharing this video with as many people as you can will also help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Let's spread the word about this, guys. Don't miss any of our stuff if you are a serious Bitcoin enthusiast. I'll see you tomorrow to discuss the most recent news that affects our entire community.